travel around heart. T. Zupan. Read by L. T. Zupan. Published by Leo Thomas Zupan IV. Copyright 2019. Leo Thomas Zupan IV. Bonus. Post Chapter 1. One dash 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 So where does the word so come from? I published Travel Around Heart and acquired two physical copies of it whilst staying in Columbus, Ohio, the USA at my dad's house or sanctuary. After quite emotional moments, though it was several months before I myself actually read the fucking thing, perusing the book, I began to plan a trip to the notorious and often misunderstood and misrated 2015 Apalachicola Regional Rainbow Gathering via a flight first to Orlando. I sat in the library with my father, who, for once, was actually informed by me of my intended trip before I left. We were on the Mac. And were arranging a flight to Orlando together while I myself was attempting to plan the rest of the trip to Acola as much as possible before leaving. I remember him being unconscious of the fact that he actually wanted me to screw up later and get stranded in Nevada or wherever. Well, now I forget him, as well as forgetting that. Sad fact. So, I went on to the Columbus airport, and then on to a flight to the Orlando. I booked things from Orlando's airport phones. Those local Orlando buses took me through its town to the Greyhound Station's terminal after a hotel night where a hot girl ached for me in an elevator, and really, I had half a mind to do it. I arrived in Tallahassee and walked through its downtown only to find the weekly farmer's market where no rainbow family happened to be there. So I ordered a cab to take me from the Walmart and to the tobacco and alcohol marts, then on through out into the middle of the national forest. I talked to the cabbie about how menage at Troyes are fucking awesome. He was on the same page. I walked down that little dirt road to find scared hippies who were saying that someone had shot and killed someone else because they had refused to put out a tire fire they'd had started in the first fucking place. I said that's terrible but we can still relocate the gathering and continue. Rainbow Family does not just give up. It only takes three people to have a gathering. Someone gave me some monatomic, and everything magically started getting better. We relocated, and I rode on the magic bus to New Spot. There was talk of cops coming and running us off, and I said I am done running. 
we relocated and that should be enough. 75 plus of us stayed. I unpacked and set up my tent. Someone who reminded me of Krishna set up a coffee kitchen stock pot. It is two dash 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 dash. There was a full-blooded Indian there who just sat in the center of our circles and stared with unfadable eyes at us. People were all quite very paranoid about so-called dready fetties. I learned a lot, and a red-headed guy told me an hilarious joke about how everyone wanted to act like they know something earlier than when someone else does, and better. Nug at night rock. People with bugs and with dabs came as well, yes. Pot in, inevitably, now getting legal. Fucking finally. It really got boring and I started to plot to go to that Shasta in Northern California. I managed to snag a ride with three others and waved goodbye to Donut and the kid that reminded me of Mel Mac Yoda Beck in a very rustic, scrawny banjo kind of a way with a great hat, darkish green. The ride was only going to Birmingham and I had to sit at the back of the truck with alternating others. The three who traveled with me were nobody, who reminded me of tobacco its fucking self, who is quite the awesome too, VTW. Ben, I assume it's spelled with two N's, who was from the next generator, excuse me, generation, and who is exceptionally and extraordinarily talented with magic along with the third who was a further evolution of the person called my ex-wife. Yup. We made it to the downtownsies of Birmingham and to its gray old Hounday station. I experienced the blackness which reminded me of gathering and moving energy points in Atlanta not much earlier than then at that point time to go. Three, dash, 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 dash. All that could be afforded those days because of kids these days, like me, was uh, the ticket to an Alber Kurt Key or Alber Quirky or wherever cities. I think I went through Tejas, which was so In Alber, I walked out of the station and met a proclaiming writer instantly who told me to go to the pizza place. He said, this town is so fucking bad, man. I'm a writer and they just ram me the fuck out of town. That's it, I'm gone. Like, you'll never see me again, man. I said, okay, whatever, to myself. That's fucking interesting. This isn't Nam, man. So now I ate my pizza, you know. And then I meet this semi-runaway girl who has like one of those aggressive, rebel-y stuffed animal backpack animal monstery things, only dirty, dirty fucking girl. It's a backpack, that is. She says to me that, like, it was actually my fault, the goddamn dog we walked by barked from behind its godforsaken fence. I mean, I'm like a whisper, you know? A pigskin gridiron whisperer, wizard Einstein, that is. Don't sue me, Carl. Fucking please. So she tells to live at her drop in center or whatever it actually is, you know? ask where the nice suburban van areas is, and I take the bus there and crash in a bush until the Western Union comes through the next day. As usual, Albert Kirky was actually really cool in retrospect. The bus continues on to Shasta, through LA, where everything looked painted and vibrant enough. I hotel for a night in Sacramento and see that the gangsters are awesome as always. 
it was Redding again to a hitchhike to Shasta, only this time it was actually family that picked me up. And we went straight to Twin Arrows, right near the that Buddha hole, as they call it. I think it has something to sew or to do with the scaffolding there. Yaw. Yeah. Four, dash, 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 dash. I later see Daryl again, of course. He rocks forever. We light old fire, and it musties the rock smoke until spark catches. Brother looks at me and smiles. He says, now it's going again. And so, as he was coming from Ocala and I from Ecola, ever since the Florida gathering had its fire going, it was back and burning bright again. Trent Reznor knows how to kick light epic. Cheers to him and his. So anyways, I smoked dabs with some friends, and it is like a laser. I tripped all day, and now I think of opiated tweet dabs. Hmm, that's fucking interesting. It migrates as it always does, through the paint-by-numbers rocks and stones, and I find myself on Mount Shasta itself. At the second to lowest, officially okay to camp there spot, where a little mini rainbow gathering transpirationalings. Mouse and Brother Bear are there, along with 30 others. Unfortunately, they were nearly all dudes. Anthony was my favorite, if I were to have favorites. They kept tasing me. JK LMFAO LM Dow LMOR LM whatever Shit gets sketchy I go to Santa Cruz's south And ultimately Monterey A movie Get hard in Santa Cruz Was fucking weird but good timing, somehow. I love Will Ferrell. I see GDF kids on some other trip at the moment than myself is. I return after utter disappointment and two anecdotes based in ignorance to find the main camp miraculously still existing and covered in all kinds of snow. It was like a living room made of snow-covered tarps with a nice cozy fire burning in its center. Away from Illuminati dreadlocks, supposedly. Like I ever even fucking even care. Everyone was happy to see me, and I as likewise. Jingles and jingles together, I go to Ashland, Oregon with James's Mellow and company. Through a uh, alcohol-infested minivan, we rock star it north and the cops kind of tried to mess with us in truth it was ashland though also it is medford and talent we ventured james mom's was thar in medford and it was cool enough though we finally ventured to talent we some kids on an ecstasy quest so what does the fox say nothing is this your Larry? No, not Nom, Walter. So the one kid who reminded me of Finn had the fingertip lights and was moving fingertip energy to music, so I moved planic energy via hand and yes, sigh, <sighs> wrists. It blended well, toga ether, somehow. An ecstasy dealer manifests like we're kind of gangsters in spirits. They throw a rave in Ashland in occasion of the honor. I reconvene with Finnish kid, and we look at each other straight in the eyes, and he says, what? And then we both start laughing because we fucking participated in facilitating and made it fucking happen, brah. Huh. Aww. Anyways, we retreated to other anecdotes of rapists hated 
been strangely gravitated to by severely confused girls, so I just had to leave, you know? At least James and his mom get it, along with everyone else in the Megaverse universe. I bust back alone to Shasta and stay at the paid campgrounds, which was a first for me. Then it was to Reno, Nevada. Five dash 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 dash. I managed to secure a weekly paid motel. Hoich shall remain unnamed. Because it had mad bugs, yo. Deceitful Asian manager. Not because she was Asian, though I love fucking those Asians in groups, and they pray to let me know. Got my body bug bitten. BBB. I played live music, band, five-star, casino, karaoke, Jim Morrison with energy, drink, liquor, oscillations, melds. When it was finally time to go from the Dreamers coffee shop, I found myself in Tahoe, California, freezing to three quarters, death. It took forever to convince Tahoe to not let me freeze in the night with no blanket, but I did it with the help of Star Trek corroboree, that is... And it was a post-hotel truck confusion tale of story. I made it through that Donner's Pass there, though. Don't you worry, beloved. Back to a Sacramento airport, Columbus, Ohio, Scioto Apartamentes, which were near those Indian mounds, you know. Six, dash, 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 dash. Yep. So as I find myself doing the 5th Street dance there, then after threesome taunting the strippers, I get bug overwhelmed. Whelm. And I go to Miami, Palm Beach, and see the ocean shake hands with me. West Palm Beach, life-threatening anecdotes, and on to the last dads. And then the apartment I typed this from, near Etna, near Hamilton 317, near Main Street. And... New York joint. I went Little Red Rooster to Downa there. Rough area. Right. So, anyways, I of course snapped because it was a too much. Yeah. Finally, one day I decide, after bumping fucking Zach of the Raka forever, Ocean View International. I'm more American than those poor souls will get it one day, and I decide to go to San Francisco to jump off its Golden Gate Bridge. Seemed did like a good idea at the time. See what happens when you open those Golden Gates. I take a code of local Columbus City bus to its airport station, and you know it has one, yeah, and then it was straight to Vegas. Seven dash 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 I local Vegas city bus from its airport over to Luxor ish vicinity and then Fremont per some okay advice praise Charlie I walked through those day luminous light zip linings above my stereoscope right Vegas strip clubs huh and then I reach new induced heights from sources you don't need to hear of Except after Sayi. The summer rain, I then get bored, sad, to San Francisco, it has to be next. Through Los A first. People out there, in front of its gray hound, try to tell me how not everyone gets their downloads, sure. I get to SF and go to, to one of its musically oriented hostels, though it was through alley, unbeknownst to me of Orient, and drank boredom by its bot TLE. I came to a bridge. I found it dreamy misty. I looked at it with a swoon tilt. Gone and dreaming of permanent gone. Well, anyways, I pushed that button and wound up at a so-called hold psych ward, and she told me to tell her when I see the envelope. 
the cop said she thought suicide should be legal. I appreciated that. I guess it is in the Pacific Northwest in some areas, but only with certain conditions. I said, okay, I see the envelope. Then it was Trazodone, back to Ohio, Vyvanse, Trazies. I would never snort percolationes and... I returned through the jealous Eastern God of Jesus Christ all... Then it is hardcores, part of towns, until I write this, and media's acquisitions and Indian, so now I close. Maybe more comes before this, so called publish. Eight, dash, 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 dash. Whitehall, Blacklick, Estate Parks, Pear Song, Gently Rise. So may have been, you may expect the future, and one of these days I may accept the cold. Lee. Except I won't because I'm going to the fucking heart ocean. I go to music shows and video game bars when I get bored. Coffee is strong. Obets is nice. Aloha. Bonus. Post chapter two. One dash 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 dash. So, then, inevitably, inimitably, I began to grow, to grew tired of my daily routines. But Obets is still nice. I started in early June to contemplate going to another gathering nationals. First one in a year or so. A. Cola and Shasta 2015 being the last I had been to. Utah 2014 being the last nationals. This one being the 2016 Vermont gathering of the tribes. At first I thought, no, no way, can't go. Too practicality impassable. But then, I felt the drift, as they say. Immediately, who am I writing this for? Anyways, money came from a child support return check, and a few caring others named mother and benign cyst her. I just went into a fucking flurry, and bought a bottle of pre-mixed Long Island iced tea and stayed up all night in my apartment alone as usual masturbating to ridiculous material just right before dawn I just don't give a fuck it's been over two years now since I've been with someone romantically so I was a little out of it when I hadn't slept still and zigzagged out to buy energy drinks I then got my head shaved as my scalp still bothers me though it does seem to be gradually getting better. Wind somehow makes it worse. For the moments it's windy. Yes, I know, it's odd. I then meandered to the Walmart to get a tent, Dollar General for a tarp, etc., etc., and as I sat in the Columbus Greyhound station waiting for the bus, I was tripping. The audio was doubled over on the TV stereo system they have, so everyone can see and hear the noose. It wasn't just my fucked up state of mind, too, as I found out later. The Greyhound took me out of Columbus to dash 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 dash. We went up Throw to Cleveland first. I met a man who was drawn to me like glue with know-it-all male kid grin thing going on, and a guitar for strumming in a black case. We found ourselves engrossed in a conversation with an individual going camping in the Catskills about the importance of a foot print under your tent. And I just sigh as usual. 
big black eyes in the middle of my eyes. The town told me in its own way without necessarily words that it had found its own and we made up. Cleveland formerly being the worst experience of my early life. Though eerie and then almost entirely New York State, I found myself passing into Vermont. Three, dash, 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 dash. Vermont is so greeny green, I had no idea, nor of the mountains. But I guess it is the green mountain state, anyhow. Fucking hippies. I met two people on the way into Manchester, where it is thereby held by Rocky and Johnny on the Greyhounds. They were going to Rainbow as well, in the town of Manchester. We met two more family on their way to Rainbow as well, and with an SUV. The locals were, are well and kind enough. I like Vermont in retrospect, really like it. Anyways, the SUV saved us a 20 mile hike hitch, which was grand tabulous. Nice to avoid the so-called jekylls, I guess. Everyone's experience at Rainbow is different. The website is layered to a first glancer, theoretically. I wandered through and up the main trail to Camp Nothing, acclaimating to weed once again and explaining my Triskelion. I went further back then and found Shining Light. After speaking with someone who seemed to be confused and to like my all-black outfit, she gave way to four others in two pairs and also quite confused was at least one of the pairs. I pitched my tent behind Shining Light I met my neighbors later, both fun and pointless. I repacked all my arrival expendable. I just got here, so I'm about to have a fucking blast. Supplies into, well, a day bag of sorts, like a set chill, and wandered on down the hall. Four, dash, 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 to say hello to KV. Um, not that I know him very well, except that he is wise, in my opinion. Everyone was screaming for wood, so me and Johnny, who happened to be there too, went and got wood. When we came back with it, they said they didn't want to keep the fire going in their seed front gate drunkenness, and me and others just had to laugh. Fire kept going regardless. As its smallness burnt along, I proceeded to get completely wasted. The previous couple of days began to catch up with me. People spanged my half gallon and my bottle of cranberry juice away. Later it would dawn on me that never once in all my years going to rainbow gatherings had anyone there ever ever spanged me for actual cash or money. Not even once. I mean, I've probably been around 25,000 rainbow kids in all the years, if not more. As I got drunk, which has been an entering rainbow ritual of mine, though only for the first few days, that is, Word came to us that people didn't like that we had a little fire going that close to the road. I started saying, oh yeah, so dangerous having a fire right here like this. I mean, just look at it. This fire is out of control. This fire is just so scary. It's going wild. Out of control. I'm just so fucking scared right now. Ooh. And things of the like. Under my breath, of course, I was saying to people that there obviously wouldn't be a fire like this tomorrow, it's just that we just got here, it was tiny, and it's fine for one night, we would get a five-gallon shovel, and a five-shovel gallon, manana. Five, dash, 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 dash. Donovan was kind enough to help me survive my way back to my tent. The day after waking, I said goodbye to the old alcohol creature. The stockpot had an $150 tarp, I'd wager. Maybe $100. Fucking huge, the thing was. Turtle, Ash, Yoda, and Dog were all there. There was a rumor floating about that some kids had broken into a dog pound nearby and stolen a dog. Six Up had apprehended one of them or some such nonsense. Like the pound doesn't already have enough fucking dogs. Liberate the dogs, man. 
Turtle said there was a rock in the ground near him that annoyed him. Ash had ridiculous patchwork pants. Dog wanted hash. Yoda knew where the only sizable fire was when it rained and was cold at Rainbow in fucking July. Right fucking here. I love stockpot. Biblical hashadabbery. So I walked on down the hall. Having lost my wallet, still not fully replaced as I typed this sentence. I went to Camp Nothing. A girl there had a little pot. No, literally, she had a little pot. Like, made out of clay or something. Someone there had bagpipes, and another an air horn. Trumpeting away, I went to a bank that was really a house on a town run with some locals. Some girls were fucking retarded. Surprise, surprise, like closet misogynist machismo gizmo cliche itties. They just won't stop grinding and hammering nails in above me, you see. Donut rocked a song by Cake. I probably invented the concept of umbrellas at night. I kept meeting girls from Maine. I mean, what am I going to do with that? No one even acknowledges multiple person relationships. The internet barely even does. Congratulations. I met someone who reminded me of Roger Waters. I told him I would love to visit Ireland someday. I am 35 now. If I haven't already said thar, maybe I should keep star track of these things. Isn't it just a sketch? So anyways, I started oscillating until I was gone. Meaning I wasn't even there because I was gone. <clears throat> People tried to tell me how to build fires. Gizmo rabbled. Stockpot hung an example stick, which is really a lot cooler than it sounds. Like a D-A-R-E medallion. The Krishnas were cool, though it did bring up my age-old attack on certain pointless guilts within a lot of people. Three roses in Salem. The peak of the gathering was when they all started talking about hive consciousness, and so I brought up having a honey processing center. Someone said maybe Oregon. I said, yeah, that makes sense. I'm so very bored. Energy came through nature portal drumming through that old Indian in my soul. I came home, repeat, repeat. Six, dash, 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 dash. Do. When I walked out of tarped areas, the rain quelled. Chicken or the egg. For the last time, the Chegg. Novel forgot the yum berry, probably. He is the best magic hatter I ever done seen. Me and some kid whose name I forgot rode up to Burlington together. Reminded me of Gainesville, Florida. And upon arrival, through an even heightened form of that Vermont green, I was disposed of off from his car at my destination, the Burlington Vermont Greyhound Station. And I remembered, she asked me if I had a knife she could borrow, and I said, very tired, no. Nah. Please do not ask me such questions. It disturbs us both, quite honestly. And on the ninth day, Allah said, if you don't shave symmetrically, people will profile you. I love sitting on any given porch and watching and breathing the rain. Closest thing I have to the ocean right now. I only had $2.50 to my name after the Greyhound ticket was subject to change, so I had to carry all my gear to the nearest grocery store from the airport three half miles away, but at least I got to vent my anti-automation spiel as well as my pro-music project. I'm still fucking trying to create spiel. I managed to get multiple ramen cups and a two liter of generic citrus caffeine soda with my $2.50. It went well with my shitty tobacco. The way back was New Hampshire, Massachusetts.
Massachusetts, NYC, Connecticut, and Pennsylvania. In Boston, I felt the ocean oh so near. I found happy eaten food in the food court, which I can't remember the last time I've had to do that, and slept through Hartford. Pittsburgh had snotty women like Columbus can, and I came back to my apartment. Back at the library bar, I managed to vent my anti-multiple person relationship discrimination, ignorance, trip shtick, and the response I got was yes. It's as though people are too definitive about the fucking subject. Sad and true. I'm done with that place. And may not venture to Scully's next month. Gehenna does not mean hell. I have a media carousel. In and out. Quint polar. Equatropical. This is the end. To tell you the truth, all I'm really thinking about is moving to... Puerto Rico, for 500 reasons, and the fact that the ocean is there. It is raining now, a way to just quit. It's supposed to rain in another hour or so, and then quit again. Good afternoon, buenos. Seven, twenty-two, sixteen. 11.33 a.m. Benomena. Stop playing that fucking trumpet. Bonus post chapter three. One, dash, 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 dash. Yep, there I was. Next to the person who was. Who was it that was supposed to have said that I give a fuck about it then? But, well, but twell, there I was. Like a bell. Hmm. Finally made up with my dad, BTW. Dare I say, lest I jinx any ting. Donald Trump cares about Jeru Salem. I won't type. You have to respect that. Humans are evolving, slowly but surely. Marilyn Manson gets on stage with his cast in 2017 like he is 19. And me. Me? Two. Dash, 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 dash. So I bottled all my cans up and spent 14 days plus, 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 plus researching that logistical balrog. And I drove out from the classic Columbus, Ohio. Meh. How I grow to loathe the word festy when used excessi valet aho. Whatever. Anyways, I decided to change the scripters up a little bit, North Korea, and take a route I ain't before, thus going through different mountains, while listening to Heaven Upside Down, when it just came out, Blood Honey, and to purview, pervade, and just fucking chance upon, Charlotte in Carolina to notice that three dash 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 <coughs> really 
through the trouncing of higher levels and consequently even the very fucking concept of levels, obelisk in that town, well, let's just say Charlotte doesn't need any help, even when she does, which she does. She's still got some other kind of post-opened energy source that's carried her beyond this old land of limits we still live in. As I'm sure many people in that city technically do too. Really, I'm talking about things that don't mean a fucking thing unless you are already, very subtly, in touch with many different energetic and emotional languages. Layers lasers, etc. Obviously it's rude not to capitalize to say lasers should be spelled with a Z. Not an S. I mean, that's just lazy. Man. Any ways. Or dash 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 dash. So I bombard land crashed to Savannah, Georgia. Not that I care about cleverness or intelligence, only the heart, please, like you care. G-E-O-R-G-I-A, don't they make peaches or something? Ah! I mean, whatever. Georgia's is okay, obviously. Five, dash, 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 and I went to the ocean. Thank God as they say. Six, dash, 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 Tybee Island. Well, how can I explain it to you? Seven, dash, 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 dash. So I do obviously have this kind of relationship with the ocean. Um, and this was returning to it after oh so long. Yet, it wasn't until slightly later that it really hit. But the rain reminded me of home with a capital Ohm. I had a bit of capital T. A. A. Capital T. Because it is an underrated ending to its word. 8 dash 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 or word self 9 dash 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 so it's never enough you know 10 dash 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 say it never was a clever ever and I needed that saturational 11 dash 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 then I flew in a car through Gainesville piff to Mobile, Alabama. So what do you ever insert upside down question exclamation point marks here? 12 dash 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 12 in Mobile. Well, geez, I had to just spaghetti around to find multiple fascinating precursors with that. You ain't from around here, but there's a non-local quality to the location of exact point that's being addressed in our drama as a group right now. So we all know that, so fine. Moving on, this one chick reminds me of Cheryl Crow, 13 dash 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 dash. I know the numbers are going too fast, aren't they? Hmm. 14 dash 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 dash. Moving on again because of the love that is okay with, but dismissive of, comedy beckoning hate, clever and meta, begging borrowing, doomed amounts of satisfaction, 15 dash 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 dash. Who cares? Yes, release. When you lash back, refer to the last paragraph as it does readdress a second future response that you have probably just started having, but only some of you. Wow. Then it was some kind of a drained lake. Well, and as I've already stated on other times and levels, it's never enough. 
It's never enough what I do for you all. Purple Martins are key to humans performing genocide on the literal mesquite toes of the earth, BTW, with the gratitude of cattle, etc. coming back to us. And then it obviously goes back to don't get me started. So, 16 dash 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 dash. With help, I trumped and trounced a bunch of shit. Oh, Mississippi pie. And then I discovered the Tallahassee bike bus phenomena. A short bus bike bus, you know, BMX. Talk to your teenagers if you don't suck, to quote the late great great Charles Manson quotes. But I know you are not supposed to quote quotes, boy, cause I ain't said shit. I told a them it's okay, you're not smoking me out. Tori Amos's lyrics haven't gotten more cryptic over the years, much like my writing hasn't. In some ways, I don't want that, because the less bugs, the better. Parse Smith Era 17 dash 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 Oh, the expensive ass ocean, supposedly. 18, dash, 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 19, I, and so then after the Chiefland, Florida, Wall, Mart, watching Hearts in Atlantis, so-called adaptation with two scenes that had something which is part of the everything, which, including me, phenomena of never being able to encapsulate everything about something, but always feeling the expectation energy towards that from others, thing and conscious subsequently always overrating and underrating abso fucking every fucking thing whatever i'd rather say hing than thing um 19 dash 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 I went down through some self-proclaimed hick police to shell mound sacred portal 20, dash, 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 dash. After that went some cedar key activity. Half fat, late adolescence, drunk on oomph. Kind and smart. Where's my love? Is the question anything in this universe is going to always lead to. Though, if you didn't already blah blah fucking know. Twenty-one dash 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 dash. Tire pressure is different from a lower control arm. I learned that the hard way at an obscure country intersection in Florida with three, count them three, folks, broken air machines, as far as their gauges at least, at the gas stations. I went into one of them and bought a brand new broken tire pressure gauge, as well as the hilltop. Swear I learnt omen spots triple dust. But the word dust is not car related there. Uh, 22 dash 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 dash. Lehigh Acres. Ugh. 23 dash 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 dash. I made a beeline down to Naples. Say. Pixies and Sprites. And so after playing a role in my hurricane recovery Walmart parking lot reality, I drove back up to Panther Pond, which is part of the Okaloa Coochie Slow State Forest, to find the ground stone hard and the place desolate. Strange remnants left and never cleaned at different campgrounds. With my broken ass car, it was over to Cluiston and the Lost Trail. Not the lost trial, mind you, methinks. Subtle differences exist in the feeling languages of different water types, you know. And this I discovered at Lake Okeechobee, which feels rather unlike Lake Ocean or River Pond. Along with my new realization, which I realize everyone already knows more and less, is that you can never find the source of a rainbow. You just cannot stand on the ground and have a rainbow beaming out of the ground. Sky all around your radius. 
You cannot. Vultures will eat your baby cat. That's a Tori Amos quote. From her Abnormally Attracted to Sen album interview era, Vultures will eat your baby cat. They will. I don't know if she said baby cat. She may have just said cat. Give me a fucking break, yo, boro. 24 dash 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 dash. It was an epic walk on the lost trail, though. Well worth it. Water in Florida is denser, as is generally Florida in general. I went over to Fort Myers with no dispensaries yet, followed by Port Charlotte, and consequently the Mayaca State Forest. Therein, theremen, I cleaned up the discarded toilet paper squares and noticed a 12-foot diamondback slithering through the main access road, but you already knew that. I went to the ocean multiple times. This was around the time Charles Manson passed away, who was in jail all his life for talking words to kids. Golden energy sparkled through the tunnels of Sunray as I watched the birds, and one of them watched me briefly. 25 dash 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 dash. I passed through the Babcock Web, Web Lake area, unique as it is with its massive ATVs and return to Super Serene Panther Pond. It is intense how alone it can be all the way out there. Finally, down to the Picayune Strand State Forest through Imokali to stay at the Horseshoe Campground in the Everglades, which is immense. It just can't be foretold how immense it truly is unfolded. 26 dash 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 dash. By then, by the way, I had had developed an understanding of animals in general, the next generational. It is a desperate land after all. What with the birds cackling and the fire trees groke. I snapped. I left the cinder block in my car. I left my tent in my forest kept the sketchbook and the reddest memories of Edgar Allan Poe. I was three blocks away from the I-75 ramp. When I got out of the campground, I went from the Everglades Forest straight to the freeway and drove up for 19 hours, only stopping to rest at gas stations. The final American bridge of city, country, country, city, folk, those five weeks were 27 dash 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 dash, back in Ohio, yet again trying for once or twice for Jillian in my life to not be depressed about it. When the snow first lands on the dead leaves, you can actually hear it before a layer gathers up. 28 dash 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 dash. Letters and pages, living in Ohio yet another year I was, this time by the casino, staying alive. 29 dash 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 dash, I don't know, in general. 30, dash, 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 11, 11, just barely enough, and hope, as usual. 31, infinity, dash, 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 to Vietnam, Southeast Asia, Da Nang, etc. I heart Uyen.